There's another one. Now he sleeps with the fishes. Are really devoted to that to dancing, I guess. I know. Like, like they, don't, they don't even notice that like everyone around them is gradually disappearing. <laughs> like I, I don't know what's going on in this war devil. It's just like you know. Here we are. Do you think they're paid to just do that? I don't know. The Lord Regent's provisional bylaws. That's exactly right. They state that the conservative position gets an extra three votes. But not in the month of timber. Is that true? How on earth do you know that? Did you think I was born a courtesan, Lord Pendleton? I was a clerk to Lord Estermont. Careful. Oh. Oh. Most to people don't Estermont? change jobs like that. Rats did. An old sewer line led under his office in Parliament, and one day it flooded, and they all came rushing out. They say the other lords barricaded him in to save themselves. The screams lasted hours. He begged and called them by name, but they let him die. Harsh. Man. Hey, she looks like, I think she's like massaging his hand or something. He's, he's done wall foreplay for you. He's he's into that sort of thing. I'm not judging. Hand stuff is popular now. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't want to think of any of the Pendletons as being sexual beings. I <laughs> I just prefer to think that, that imagine that, that that whole family they all just reproduce by you know by mitosis or something. Keep the children inside. I told it. Yep. Alright, Morgan. Seems your time has come. Looks like there's plenty of, uh... What? Oh, no. oh, they look like laying around. Yeah. Who is that? No, they actually, like I said, I like that they actually, they actually did have separate kill animations for both uh, Pendletons. Hmm. Which was nice. That's the end of him. And now I just, this was me testing out to see if he had a different rear kill animation. And as it turns out, he does not. Hmm. But I left it in because you can never kill, you can never kill the Pendletons enough as far as I'm concerned. Nighty night. They have a lot of money on them, which is nice. The prostitutes or the Pendletons? The Pendletons. Ah. Yeah, that's right. yeah, they actually they have like recorded music in the Dishonored universe. Hmm. Those audiographs. Now to make good my escape. to see here. No dead bodies in that other room. No horrifically scalded corpses downstairs. Everything's cool. <laughs> Someone developing photos in here? 
Oh, I know. It's weird. Like, I know they call it the red light district, but... <laughs> but um, oh, ooh, there's a bone charm left. Master key. You know, I'm... I'm glad they, uh, didn't do the traditional, uh use of the prostitute setting and just have a bunch of locked doors where you hear really Spirited. noises. Spirited. Potions give you slightly more mana. Wow. Oh! Large river cut. 50? 50? 20? Not There's a bad haul. pearls. Yeah. River crust pearls. Nice. I'm not even sure what you'd do with pearls that big. I don't know. Hear that spooky, ghostly wind noise. Now to hightail it out of here with Emily. Let's go. Let's get out of here. Good idea. This place is on the river. You must have come by boat. I'll wait for you near the boat. I remember the way. Don't worry about me. She All remembers right. the way. Did you ever take her? No, I think I think maybe from being when they brought her here. Ah. All right. Said I not. Ah, we've been here before. This is. Well, maybe Emily got to meet the charming Granny Rags. Those are just Granny Fez. I hear them laughing, but then they'll see what I can do. And she's walking backwards now. Like she's she was walk. unsettling before. <laughs> <laughs> she's an expert moonwalker. Well, she's an expert moonwalker. She could have helped you uh, save the kids. <laughs> Oh, God. Never played any of those games. Oh, it's pretty... They're the Michael, pretty amazing. The Michael Jackson Moonwalker game? Uh, yeah. There's like an arcade and a Genesis version, right? Yes. I assume the Genesis version was not, like, arcade perfect. No, I'm trying to remember... That was the big draw of the Sega Dreamcast. It had the arcade perfect versions of games like Michael yeah. Jackson's Moonwalker. I'm trying to remember if that was the one where there there would be four Michael Jacksons, all of them just in different color suits. Was it just like the multiplayer mode or something? Yeah, you can have up to four players. <laughs> They're all just Michael Jackson. Yep. That's awesome. Same move set and everything. Oh! Oh no! Oh, and his carcass fell directly into the wall of light and disintegrated. Nice. So how does Emily get past those? That's, they kind of don't really explain. <laughs> like, she, like you have crazy teleportation powers, and she's just a kid. I don't know, they kind of they gloss over, they kind of gloss over that. Well, the alternative would have been, like, some, you know, little girl escort mission or yeah, something. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure that's not better, but oh. I would answer questions, at the very least. Now, remember that combination? Yes. Now we return. Now we, what we could have done with this combination is loot is is open this given the given it to Slackjaw, and then you know he would have arranged for the disappearance of the Pendletons for us. Right. But this way we can keep what's inside for ourselves. Well, actually, you can do both. Can you? You can come loot it and then go to pe to Slackjaw, tell him about it, and Slackjaw will act all nice. And when you come back here, he leaves a note saying, "God damn it." Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know why I expected honor from you. I know. <laughs> In a game called you Dishonored, you'd expect more honorable behavior. Like he congratulates you on being a tricky bastard, but okay. he's still like mad at you. Let's see. 
Carmine earned. Ooh, 100, 100 coin earned. Ooh, and a Sokolov painting. Rune. People really pay for that? For what? Paintings yeah. of men, of them? Yeah. Well, well, maybe not, considering he had to put it in here. <laughs> maybe it didn't sell. Ooh, now the Boyle Party Invitation. This becomes relevant in a later mission. Where you can use it. As one of several different ways to get through that stage. Ah, uh, yes. Is that one after this one? Uh, no, there's another between it. Between then and uh. this. Up to four runes. I'm gonna go with the up upgrading blink. Better range. Excellent. I can hear that thing firing in the distance. <laughs> Now it's just a matter of getting back to the boat. This time we just go right back to where we started. There isn't a separate extraction point. Hmm. And also, I believe here we'll start to notice one of the things that chaos levels affect is Emily. Her personality will sort of change a little depending on on chaos. Oh, oh weeper. No, oh! those they are not there in low chaos. I don't think. Lovely. Those, those rat, the rats in this town are going to become such fat asses. Bad asses. I wash myself with a rag on a stick. <laughs> okay. Here we are. Bam. Emily says something interesting here that I think is chaos dependent. Well, well first, see what the heart says. Hey, the oxen again. Samuel's wondering what the hell I'm doing over here. <laughs> He's just staring at the girl holding a human heart. I wish you would burn the golden calf to ashes, Corvo. Burned it down. I don't think she says that on low chaos. I'm pretty sure she doesn't. I'm positive she doesn't. She whispered strange she... things among them. But yeah, one of the cool things in this game is sort of it's like your sort of influence affects Emily. She, in the higher chaos ending, she becomes sort of a much darker personality. It's like Milo. Milo? That uh, Peter Molyneux game where you ra where you're like the kid's imaginary friend. Uh, is this a recent one? Uh, it never came out. It oh, okay. Was, well, my next question was going to be: Is this something that actually exists, or something he's talked about making? It was a concept pitch for the PS4. Okay. And you like pretended to be the this kid's or was it the 360? I'm almost positive it was the PS4. Um. You 
pretended to be this kid. You were this kid's um, imaginary friend, so and you would help him, you know, help raise him and stuff. I'm not one to speak against my yeah. veterans, but if anybody ever deserved it, and we're ba hey, we're back to the Hounds Pit pub. What business are you talking about? Oh, I uh, grown up business girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown up business at the Golden Cat. Yeah. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Ew, indeed. Samuel is just desperate for a way to bow out of that conversation. <laughs> Poor guy. Please, God, no. I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> the only decent man in the Dishonored universe. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the hound pits. In all its splendor. Yes. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not care for me. Armed with a blade, you change the course of the city forever. And with the penalty... Yeah, I mean, you also had a crossbow. Our own Lord Pendleton That's true. And a gun. And the power to bend space and time to my will. Yeah, that doesn't hurt. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Uh, Lord Pendleton, my favorite person. <laughs> 